Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Christie, and tonight's homework is Homelink 4-1 Multiplication Puzzles. So this goes along with what we did today, uh, multiplying using um, our basic facts, but um, as multiples of 10 with the zeros. So as you can see in the examples, 2 times 300 is 600. 2 times 2,000 is 4,000. 3 times 300 is 900. And 3 times 2,000 is 6,000. So it works like that. And in this one, they give you a couple of the answers inside the chart, and then you have to figure out what goes on the outside. So you would ask yourself, 4 times what equals 320? Of course, the answer is 80. So let's look at number one. So the information it gives us is eight and nine, and then 70 and 400. So let's do eight times 70 first. And if you want, you can pause this video and do it on your own, and then come back and see if you got the right answer. Okay, so eight times 70. Well, we know that our basic fact, eight times seven is 56. And then it's just one zero, so the answer is 560. All students running bus 19 are released for dismissal, bus 19. Eight times 400, so our basic fact, eight times four is 32. And then it's two zeros. Nine times 70, so nine times seven is 63. And then it's just one zero. 9 times 400, so 9 times 4 is 36, and then it's two zeros. So let's go to number 2, 80 times 5. So 8 times 5 is 40, and then it's one zero. And even though there is the zero here in the 40, that one doesn't count because that's part of the basic fact. Remember we talked about that today? So you just put the other zero there. 80 times 7. So eight times seven is 56, and the zero, making it 560. 600 times five, five times six is 30, and then there's two zeros. 600 times seven, so six times seven is 42, and then the two zeros make it 4,200. Number three. 50 times nine. Five times nine is 45. And then there's one zero on the 50, so we put that making it 450. 50 times four, so five times four is 20. And we add the zero. 7,000 times nine. Seven times nine is 63. And then one, two, three zeros, making it 63,000. 7,000 times four, seven times four is 28, and then three zeros, making it 28,000. Number four, so this time we have to figure out what goes here. So seven times something equals 3,500. So once again, we're gonna use our basic fact of the 35, so seven times what equals 35. Seven times five equals 35. All students running bus eight are released for dismissal. Bus eight. Now there's two zeros here, and there aren't any zeros here. So that means we have to put those two zeros up here. So that's gotta be 500. Seven times 500 equals 3,500. Seven times 600. Seven times six is 42. And then there's two zeros. So that's 4,200. So now we have to figure out what goes here and what goes here. And the only clue we have is we have the 600 here and we have the 2,400 here. So let's see if we can use those two numbers to give us a clue. All students riding buses two, five, nine, and 15, please report to the B floor hallway to line up. That's all students riding buses two, five, nine, and 15 to the B floor hallway to line up. 
So what times 6 equals 24? Well, we know that 4 times 6 equals 24. Now these two zeros, the two zeros are right here. So that means we don't need to put them over here. So we can just leave it as 4 times 600 equals 2,400. So now we have to figure out what goes here. 4 times 500. Okay, returning bus 2. Forward dismissal. Bus 2. 2,000. So then over here, 3 times what equals 27? 9. And then we already have the 0 here, so we don't need to put a 0 there. 30 times 8. Well, 3 times 8 is 24, and there's a 0, so we put the 0 there. So now, again, we have to figure out this one and that one. So, uh, something times 8 equals 5,600. Well, what times 8 equals 56? 7. 7 times 8 equals 56, and there's two zeros. There's no zeros here. So that means the two zeros must go here. And now we can fill this one in. 700 times 9 equals, well, 7 times 9 is 63, two zeros. And number 6, 20 times 400. Well, 2 times 4 is 8. So now we have one zero here and two zeros here. So that's three zeros all together. So we have to put those three zeros there. And 400 times what equals 3,600? Well, we know that 4 times 9 equals 36. And there's two zeros here and two zeros here, so we don't need to put any zeros there. 20 times what equals 10,000? Well, we know that 2 times 5 is 10. Then we have a zero here. So that takes care of that zero, and there's two more zeros. So we put those there. So now we have 2 times 5 is 10, and 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So that works out. 9 times 500, so 9 times 5 is 45, and then we put the two zeros there. So hopefully that wasn't too bad. Um, these here make up puzzles of your own. You can put whatever you want there. Um, and then solve using the U.S. traditional well, addition or subtraction. So number 9 is 321 plus 869. 9, time, nine plus 1 is 10. 6, 7, 8, 9. And 8 plus 3 is 11. So that's 1,190. 4, 5, 6, 8... 8, 7, 3, 5. 8 plus 5 is 13. Carry the 1. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 7, 8, 13. 8, 9, and 4 is 13. So it's 13,303. Okay, now we have some subtraction problems. 5,401 minus 752. So we can't take two from one, and we can't borrow from the guy next door, so we got to go next door to the four, make that a three, makes this a ten. We've got to borrow one from that, making that a nine, and making that an eleven. Eleven minus two is nine. Nine minus five is four. Three minus seven, we can't do that, so we've got to borrow from the five. Thirteen minus seven is six, and four minus zero is four. Four, six, four, nine. And then the last one, 9,156 minus 4,584. 6 minus 4 is 2. 15 minus 8 is 7. 10 minus 5 is 5. And 8 minus 4 is 4. So 4,572. And that's it. Oh, there we go. All right. And I hope you have a super night, and I will see you tomorrow.